Uh, we're here today in Eccles at one of my favourite places. It's not the pub, it's Barton upon Irwell, more specifically Pocket Park, a small designated park for visitors, etc. Well, I'm here today to talk about the Barton upon Irwell area. Within a short space of, from where I'm standing, we have two Grade 1 listed structures. That's the All Saints Church and All Saints Presbytery, designed by Pugin uh, in Gothic revival style. And we also have two Grade 2 listed structures, the Barton Aqueducts and the Barton Swing Bridge, which we'll be talking about in more depth shortly. It has to be said the area is a bit neglected at the moment. I should put this down to the Covid crisis. crisis. The area has not been tidied up as much as it should be. And also uh, the state of the Barton Swing Bridge, the road bridge. It is in a shocking state. It is this paint peeling off it, flaking. I wonder if it's still working to be honest. Um, but again, we'll be talking about that shortly, but we've got some more, well, some good news for you. It's not all doom and gloom today. The owners of this land is Peel Property, Peel Property LP. Now they are responsible for the maintenance and upkeep of the bridges and this area. However, there is good news. Um, they're in talks at the moment, advanced talks with Salford Council and Trafford Council regarding an almost five million pound project to gentrify the area shall we say it's called the Barton Bridges Heritage Area and the plan is to build a, be a cycle path road path stretching from Wigan to Manchester some 20 miles in length and the new road a new footpath will be built crossing over the aqueduct that, I think that would be a great boon for the area it really will and as I say the new cycle road path now I've thought about this area, and to me it should, once it's been restored to its natural beauty etc, it should be a, almost a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a definitely a tourist destination. There should be cafes, tourist information boards here, there's, there's so much interest in, in this small area. As I say, there's two graveyards, there's a hidden graveyard in Peel Green, we've got the St Catherine's Graveyard. You've got houses dating from 1820, there's churches, there's, there's even a chip shop Lola Hardy went into in 1947 when they were playing in Bolton. There's something for everyone. This is a great area and it shouldn't be neglected. So that's a little ranting from me. I'll tell you a bit more about the bridges. Behind me is the Barton Aqueduct, the world famous Barton Aqueduct I like to call it. It's the world's first and the world's only aqueduct that carries water over water. Now this opened in July 1761. Uh, purpose was to transport coal from the Duke of Bridgewater's mines in Worsley to Castlefield in Manchester, some 13 miles. It's an incredible feat of engineering digging the canal. The Duke's Cup, I've heard it called. But the aqueduct itself was a stone one that crossed the River Irwell. Um, fast forward to 1890s. Between 1890 and 1894, when the ship canal was dug and opened, a new replacement aqueduct was built, a steel one, as you can see behind me. It's 230 foot long and the, I think it's 18 foot wide. The interesting thing is when the channels are closed, when it's swung across for ships to pass underneath, it holds 800 tonnes of water. Now, I can't work out what that is in weight, but it's a hell of a lot, isn't it? But if you've ever passed and seen it, open or functioning it's an incredible site it really is i've been lucky enough to pass over the aqueduct in a barge one day and it's often online with tom rogers uh, fascinating experience and one everyone should try so please you try and cross the aqueduct at one stage as i keep going back this should be a proper tourist spot it should it really should i want to talk to you about the wall that is just behind well behind me there the wall you can see now isn't the original Brindley's brickwork. This one was built in 1824 and possibly to support the old wall which may have been crumbling or leaking. But the, an interesting thing for me is look at the stonemasons marks. We've got sunglasses, masons dividers, hourglasses. This, what it was for basically was for the stonemason to show how much work he'd done and I would get paid pro rata by looking at the initials, signs and the brickwork. 
And there's a very interesting one, a stone tablet if you look closely. The stone tablet says 1824 and has the initials WRB. Using a bit of research and help, and I found it belongs to William Rigby Bradshaw. Bradshaw was the chief engineer for the Bridgewater Canal at the time. Um, and this was his way of make, making his mark, no intended pun there. And it's an interesting piece of social history. So again, when you pass in, have a look for Mr. Bradshaw, it's on there. I'm going to talk about the new Barton Road Bridge, Swing Bridge. Uh, originally there was a stone bridge in the place. Uh, this was obviously replaced with the coming of the Ship Canal in 1894. It was designed by Sir William Edward Leader, uh, Chief Engineer of the Canal. He also designed the aqueduct we mentioned earlier. The Swing Bridge, as it has to be said, has fell into disrepair. It's not been used for quite a while. For those old enough to remember you, the traffic jams that were caused when ships come up the canal, getting bridged it was called, many, many people were late for work and it was a common sight to see cars backlogged up, cyclists, pedestrians all shouting angrily at the boats. It was a strange sight but it's one we've not seen for ages. Uh, but the bridge itself is just, it's, it's a disgrace, there's no other word for it, it really is. It's, as I mentioned, there's paint coming off it. it looks, it's an eyesore. With this proposed new money coming into the area, I think they should make the bridge a priority. They should.